Hey, Salakia. All right. Something had happened. Um, but this is that word for overcometh in Revelation 2 and 11. All right. It says to conquer, to carry off the victory, come off victorious. Let's look up that word victory. Victory. It says an act of defeating an enemy or opponent in a battle, game, or other competition. Success. Triumph. Conquest. Win. Successful outcome. You see? The elect are already predestinated to have this. All right? It says of Hamashiach, victorious of all his foes, of followers of Yahweh Shai that hold fast their faith even unto death against the power of their foes and temptations and persecutions. You see? And the elect is going to do this. All right? Because the elect will not be caught up in the second death, which is the nuclear fire. All right? Yahweh Shai himself said that the elect are going to get delivered. This is Matthew. Let me put in red letters so you know how I said it. Matthew 24 and 31. It's talking about how I returns. It says, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they, shall, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. See? So the elect is going to get beamed up into the chariot from all over the earth. So therefore, they won't be in the nuclear destruction. You see? So the elect are indeed going to make it. And we don't know who the elect is, and you can't make yourself the elect. But one thing the elect is going to do is endure to the end. All right? And they won't be part of that. They won't be a part of that nuclear fire. Okay? And I'm going to go to my next scripture. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 20, and verse 4. It says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them, of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, for the word of Yahweh, and which had not worshipped the beast, Neither his image, neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, a thousand years. You see? So it's some of the elect that, you know, you know, um, going to be beheaded, you know, for Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You see? You know? Because they have to, you know, even endure this, man. You see? But they're going to be, but yet, you see, they're going to be on thrones. You see that? Even though they're going to be headed, even though they're going to be beheaded, they're going to be on thrones. All right. And they're going to live and reign with Yahweh Shai a thousand years and, 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 and more. OK. Way more. All right. You see, you've got to overcome. And then, you know. My last scripture here is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 8. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love is appearing. So there is a crown, all right, waiting, you know, for the elect. Let me look this up. Or a crown. Strong's G, 4735, Stephanos. Stephanos. And it says, a crown, a mark of royal or in general exalted rank. You see? Um, so the wreath or garland which was given as a prize to victors in public games. You see? Um, it says, metaphor, the eternal blessedness which will be given as a prize to the genuine servants of Yahweh and Hamashiach. The crown, which is the reward of the righteous. It is not a metaphor, okay? This is a, it's actually going to be a crown that's given to the elect. I mean, how will Shai returns, you see? You know? So, endure, man. Endure it. The hell is worth it. Believe it or not, the hell is worth it. Okay? But yeah, man, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Okay? And, but endure that heaviness as a good soldier of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory. Oh yeah, and before I close out, you know, the point I wanted to make. Oh, I made that point already. You know? Well, let me just elaborate on a little more. Yeah, this point right here, because we're coming up to this point, man. Where this, this karagma, all right, the C-hip is about to be made mandatory. All right? You know?
We're coming up to this point, man. And the elect is going to refuse to take it. All right? And it says, and this verse is talking about now in these days, you know, so some of the elect are going to get beheaded, but even in the face of that, they're going to overcome. You see? Because the Lord is going to put the spirit on them to overcome. All right? So, yeah, man. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, but endure it. Once again, as a good soldier of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, this lesson was out of fine. I want to give all the praise, his honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone every well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which is in Hebrew, Shalom. So, Shalom to the elect.